Hey, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner Part 2. The veggie patties are done, but the steak patties need some more cooking. So I'm going to show you the removal of the veggie patties. Now, I fixed my plate here with mayonnaise and mustard with french fries and lettuce and tomato. So, I'm going to... Now this is very hot, so never ever touch that with your fingers. Okay, so we're going to remove one patty and put it on, and the other patty and put it on the other burger I'm making. Then I'm going to spread these out a bit and turn these over, and I'm going to let them cook some more. Well, I'm going to do the review for the veggie patties. Okay. So now, which came from Dollar Tree as a viewer request, now there is a nice burger. I didn't add cheese to it, but I also made french fries with ketchup on top. So, it's tasting time. Mm -hmm. delicious but it's very very hot so this is what it looks like it's a veggie patty that I got from save a lot but it tastes like a burger and it's really really hot Huh. Take another bite. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there you have it. This is part two with the veggie burgers. And when the steak burgers are done, that'll be like part three because you're getting a cooking recipe from your sea sparkle. Your sea sparkle. And then, um... Wesley will fix that and then he will taste test his burgers cooked in the George Foreman grill. Now I've had George Foreman grills in the past. They died. This is kind of a new one. But I've always had, as you see in our other videos, I've always had the George Foreman grill. Because when you cook, if you cook it in the pan and the juices go in it, you're just cooking it in the juices. This um, it's kind of healthier because the juices come out and come down to here So you're not eating any extra fat. So it's actually the meat is leaner and has less carbs in it and it's healthier for you So as soon as this is done, I'll show you that so Stay tuned for part three of the lunch recipe Bye everybody. Don't go away